On this episode of NSFW, we're joined by Tom Merritt. What can go wrong? Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 125, recorded on May 1st, 2012. Tom Seption. That's it. We got to go. Go, go. Start the show. Start the show. All right. Just like that. That was smooth. Here, uh, there you go. Yeah. Now, now we're, we're talking. It. Holy Somebody cow. Melt my boobs. Yes. OMG, WTF, LOL, BBQ. It is go time for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernet, the show that is nominally safe for work. I'm Brian Brushwood. You'll never guess who I'm joined by. It's my inimitable co-host, part man, part robot, part uh, mangy dog off the street, part uh, deranged hobo. Part the dreams of children, Brian. Part the dreams of children. But somewhere there's a sweet child who lays their head down and has a brilliant dream of a screaming idiot on the internet. And he is me and I am him, Justin Robert Young. Welcome. And I have to say... That we have a guest with us, and I'm not going to say any more, and the camera's going to awkwardly switch to him. Tom Merritt! <laughs> is, that, is that usually how I do it? Like, in the middle of you setting it up, I always kick over to them? Uh, Hi. No, I was just trying to be weird, because oh. Tom's on the show. See, I never, and- know, I never know if you're, like, trying to give a commentary on, because it's always... It's it's like a totally it's different show. It's all about show. you, isn't it? Everything I say, it's all a reflection on Brian. Yeah, I'm glad guys, we're on the same page. Do you guys still want here? me to be here? That's, uh, we, we, sh- hush. The, your parents are talking. Shut up. <laughs> Shut it. Dad, Daddy's having an identity crisis right now. <laughs> Uh, hey, no, it's always weird when I'm live in studio because we have somebody else switching and there's it, it, it's it's a different game, you know? It's like it's the same players, but instead of playing by baseball rules, oh, we're that. we're boxing. It's like it's like we're on BB Live. It does. And it's got it's got the the low, <laughs> the low frame, frame rate. rate. Hey, a great show, frame rate. <laughs> frame rate is great. I love that show. Eh. You can subscribe. It's twit.tv slash eh. I mean like <laughs> Hey, man, Whatever. so this is a special episode of NSFW in that um, we all have beers in our hand, and later on we're going to play something that we call a Booze Confessional, where we're going to get inappropriately on I think it's actually technically called Booze Time Fun Loose Tongue Happy Licks. I'm sorry. Uh, you've, there are certain restrictions. We can't, we can't use Booze Time. There's, there's a kid's park called Booze Time Cinema. And I'm afraid that we can't. Brian, that. Brian, that's really disrespectful what? to do that that really racist interpretation of a Jewish lawyer. Uh, no, okay. no, I was a specific that was actually uh, Ira Sockman. So it's just offensive. Uh, uh actually, Brian. Brian, uh <laughs> do me a favor. You can't be so racist on the show anymore. I know it's been a while since I've been on. But uh if you don't calm down with the racial remarks then at some point we're gonna eventually let me tell you a story real quick one time i was on tech tv and next thing you know a young tom Merritt made a, a joke even in the office about uh, uh and i don't even want to repeat how racist it was but it was <laughs> a boy we it was in a doozy next thing you know he's got a brick through his prius window yeah. do, do us all cracker. a favor 
<laughs> you say, listen. You do it. You do it. You're doing a great job. This is a really funny show so far. Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you did you have? Was that was that Jared crowd? Me just just laugh track? Me? <laughs> yeah, I think we got a laugh track on this. Can, in fact, Jammer B, for the remainder of this NSFW, can you be in charge of a laugh track? And we'll just throw it in there. And I think that whenever whenever you're feeling it, whether it's right or wrong, just, just hit us up with a laugh track. This can't possibly go wrong. <laughs> That's, is that even a laugh track? <laughs> Triangulation with Leo Laporte. All right, so what are we going to do this episode? We're going to play Happy Time Fun uh, Booze Spills, and then we're also going to play Secrets or BS. We're also going to play another game that we came up with, well, and I've also got, we're going to play got, four I've, more games. Well, I've got my big news. Well, don't yeah, forget don't, don't forget. Tom's, uh, Tom, of Tom Tom actually, it's the whole and, reason and, I'm st stuck around for this. Yeah. <laughs> They're laughing at your big news. Are you regretting Actually, the, I think that we're kind of milling. The, the full license was, on, on the a, laugh track yet, Brian? That wasn't a laugh track. That was a kind of a milling pointlessly track. <laughs> well, that's what I love is that it's awkward. It's awkward silence. <laughs> it's like room tone. <laughs> <laughs> that, those are the moments when every, it's the reverse laugh track. In order to tell you when it's getting boring, <laughs> he starts playing the it's milling like yeah, yeah, the intermission sound of people. Sure, up. it's just it's room tone on a mic at the 1974 Democratic Convention <laughs> in Minneapolis, Minnesota. No, but thank seriously, I, I I do Ladies have to thank you. Michael Dukakis. It, it is so it is so exciting that out of all the Twit outlets, you would share your big news with us here on NSFW. Uh, no, I I appreciate that. You're great. So the right audience for this for this news. All right, we talked about playing some secrets or BS. We made the call. Usually, we tell people like a day in advance because we actually want people to remember to submit stuff in time. But in this case, we. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this a hint as to your news, Tom? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you Tom, it looks like you have some sort of cushion under your shirt. This is it's a very odd way to make an announcement. I, uh, it, it, point is, usually we, we, we're we very last minute on this week's uh, Secrets or BS here, so I wanted to see. No, I'll tell you, we got a bunch of them. Oh, I haven't do? read through any of them. But we're going to play it. All right. Let's go. We're going to play it like a game. You want to know what? All right, here. Let's start out with a little secrets or BS. Secrets or BS. Um, okay. So uh, apparently people have also <laughs> oh sent God. in secrets or BS that does not. Uh, congratulations, Tom. <laughs> it's a question. You're just thinking about the Dude, animated. You you're just thinking about the animated gifts. I want to see animated gifts before the episode's over. Oh, they're already there. Of what? Of what? Tom Mara just gave birth to? Because <laughs> it's not a couch cushion. You got to replace it with something better. No, or you just uh, everyone just take that exact shot of Tom taking the couch cushion out of his shirt and then just have a cutaway to that exact same couch cushion where you cut you cut it open and you pull out a living human baby. <laughs> uh, all right, well, here we go. Listen, we got, right. we got secrets or BS. All right, let's go, let's go. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I made my living as a DJ in a strip club. One New Year's Eve, I got so drunk while working... I woke up the next day to discover myself in bed with not one but two of my hot blonde co-workers. And to this day, I don't remember how I got there and what happened the night before. Is it secrets or BS? Uh, hey, secrets. everybody, it's me. Secrets or BS? <laughs> <laughs> it's Jockey. Tom Jigglestocks. Tom Jigglestocks. The blondes Let's were... Let's first go to Tom Merritt, ladies and gentlemen. Tom, what do you think it is? Secrets of BS. The blondes were Adam Sessler <laughs> and... And Morgan Webb before she stopped dyeing her hair. Liam Maklem and... <laughs> Who? He was... Uh, he, well, he's a local reporter now, but he was the uh, host on Internet Tonight. And, uh, yeah, so it's secret. You say it's I'm a real secret? secret, yeah. Tom says it's true. Let's swing on over to our co-host, Brian Brushwood. What's going on, buddy? You think a secret's a big ass? <laughs> it's 31 minutes past the hour. 
We're playing some Secrets of BS. Tom Jiggle Stocks here. Secrets of BS right now on NSFW. So, Brian, what do you think about it? I think this is BS. Tick tock, tick tock. It's BS. Feel the gears turning. Totally Secrets true. of BS. It's, it's, it's BS. Totally it's, it's BS. Yep. It's too self aggrandizing. It's, 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 it's too done to be BS. That's just it. It's, it. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is the kind of BS somebody would come up with. It's, it's too crazy not to be true. Wait. Uh, all right. Go ahead. Justin, what it say so you, So you sir? say BS, but Brian, can we register your final answer as, as BS? My, Old bull poop. <laughs> Old bull pucky, that's right. So, so, uh, 32 minutes past the hour, Top Jiggle Stocks, what say you? Top Jiggle Stocks right here. We have a big reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, this piece of information allegedly is... What? True. What? I know truth. Tom Jiggle It's my stocks. job. It's 33 minutes past the hour, and I want to punch Tom Jiggle Stocks in the crotch. Whoa, Brian. Hey, listen. Let's go ahead and cool this one down. Put a couple ice cubes in your pocket, because we got another <laughs> secrets of BS on the docket. Hold on, everybody. He's not very We good. got hey, another did, secrets. Did, didn't oh. we have a bit where we uh, were going to do, like, a morning show <laughs> on, all over the world? And then we called oh, yeah. uh, 105.9 The Cat was when we were originally going to do that. Was was Tom there for that? I remember you guys talking about it. I don't know if I was there for the origin. No, no. It, Tom was there for it was uh, the NPR SFW, the the NPR episode, which no, we should do that again. That was Scott Johnson. That was That's Scott what, Johnson. For NPR SFW. We Wait, did. By the way, listen, I'm going through all these secrets or BS. You can't. Okay, I got like eight of them that were like, "Hey, I uh, slew Skeletor with the sword." <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking that was BS. Like, don't say whether or not it's true or not. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tom yeah. Jiggle Stocks right here. Here we go. We're going to get, get ready for another single from BS. Yeah. About seven years ago, my wife at the time had gone to the local Golden Corral restaurant in <laughs> Sample, Florida. After our meal was over, she said she had to go to the bathroom, but I waited at the table for her. Within a few minutes, I had to relieve myself and headed into the men's room. This time, I decided to take the stall because it was the first thing I saw when I entered. As I was standing there mid-strip, I realized that this bathroom didn't have urinals and that, in fact, I'd stumbled into the ladies' room. Fortunately, no one came in or went out while I was there. I quickly finished up, skipped washing my hands, and hurried back to the table to wait for my wife. She came out a few minutes later and was none the wiser. <laughs> I never told the truth. I have personally done this like not a lie like i went did it, you send this uh no okay. i <laughs> yeah i'm not the author of this particular okay, just i can't say whether or not closure. this person but but like i definitely and it was on a gig it was on a professional gig when i first started i needed the money so i'd take whatever jobs i could and, and there they was paid you to go into women's restrooms <laughs> <laughs> apparently they did accidentally would you like to get paid to go in the women's <laughs> restrooms just call 1-800-LADY-PEAK <laughs> And they'll make sure that you can get hooked up and paid commission to inspect ladies' restrooms, even though you have a dog. Top Jiggle Stocks 23 past the <laughs> I, uh, I, I actually might have pictures of me doing this gig. It's me wearing a full-on penguin suit. Uh, I mean, a full-on tuxedo doing uh, card tricks for Chef Boyardee announcing their new uh, homestyle bakes. So, like, my job was to go into grocery stores and creepily approach children and ask if they wanted to see some magic. Uh, but well, in between, dressed in a suit, dressed in a, a formal yeah. dinner wear. And so, right. what you decided to do on top of all of this is like, man, I could really go for looking at ladies in the women's restroom. I think that's well, that's an icing on a real delicious cake. <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? So it's like I'm like, man, I gotta go. So I go, I rush it, and and here's the thing: I'm doing these all at Walmart, so they're all the same layout, except one had switched. Because there's no, there's no definite men are always on the right, women are always on the left. So it's like most of them, the men's room had been on one side. And I did like 20 of these in a row. And so I went in and I actually went in and I sat down. And then I heard a door open and then a door close. And then, uh, and then I was like, I don't think I'm in the right spot. And then I walked out and she's all like, yeah, you're in the women's. That's the women's. Well, this story really went somewhere hilarious, Brian. Let's swing it on over to Tom Merritt. Tommy Merritt, is this what a secret no, you know, I was? Sitting there, I was sitting there trying to think, well, how did you know it was a woman when you were sitting in the stall with the door closed? <laughs> right, well, it, because because they told me when I left. <laughs> I mean, they were like, you went in the women's room. That was the women's. So you didn't realize it while you were in there? I did, which but is why. But how did you realize it? Well, I, I thought, hey, 
I don't remember seeing any urinals when I oh, went in okay. here. And, right. and in fact, thing. like Same thing as our to, story. to to this day, I'm paranoid about checking for urinals. Like I, I want that constant validation Everywhere. that I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm not comfortable. You're a little uncomfortable right now because there's not a. <laughs> well, urinal. Like, in, in a case like this, I'm looking for makeshift urinals. Like in a pinch, I could use that bag over there. Sure. Yeah. But uh, uh, I'm going to say I'm going to say if this is not BS, I mean if it's not true, it should be. How about that? That's right. my answer. You're, it, it's poetically true. It's a secret. This is a. It, it's my secret, so it has to be. All right. Whether or not this person made it up or not. Tom. Uh, well, jury, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but I really irrationally hate you when you talk in that voice. <laughs> and that's not even a lie. Like that's that's like I could see the seething rage quit building I, in it's, him. It's not you. It's just the voice. Wait, the, you you hate so, you. you is, hate, is it? Is, oh, oh, Tom Nick sucks. I, yeah, I'm, I just I just I'm I just, just want to Tom like, choke the life out of you um, when you're talking like that. What's the guy, what's the guy's name? Tom Jigglestock. Tom Jigglestocks. Yeah. If uh, if I he has a kill Tom <laughs> If he has a uh, if he has a cohort, what's his name? Uh, it would be uh, Tom Jigglestocks, and and the breeze. Little Slappy. Little Slappy. <laughs> little Slappy. I, I, I feel bad for poor little Slappy. <laughs> it's um, Jigs and Slaps in the morning. One oh five nine. The cat. Cook in the racist badger got fired. Anyway, um, I oh I was so sorry to hear that, but he was really racist. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Uh, Despite it was because of the racist sing-along that they did. They had done it 11 years in a row, the racist sing-along. <laughs> you had to make up uh, song parodies where uh, the choruses were uh, using slurs and only slurs and just one slur. Well, and 11 years ago when they started it, it was a different time. It was, uh, like, what? It was, it was my grandfather's radio right, days. Right, exactly. I mean, things, things were... Th- different things were okay back then. All right, so is this, is this secret or BS? Oh, this is... This is I'm Slap sorry. you lost it up. I don't... Slap. It's it's thirty eight minutes past the hour. It's time he wants to know. <laughs> I don't want to hit you now. It's not it's not just this is Tom's kryptonite. Yeah, it's it's all you have to do. He's like, yeah. all you is have to do if you want to Tom is say, Tom Jigglestock's here. Yeah. All you have to do is say your own name and announce how far past the hour it is. And, oh no, and, no, it's not that. It's the Tom Jigglestop. The like tone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just old Slappy. Jigs and Slappy in the morning. Tom Ziggle stocks right here. Tom 39 Megan minutes past the hour. Traffic and weather together at the tens. <laughs> Coming up. You really are going to hit someone. All right, secrets, uh, secrets or BS? I, I don't want to insult our fine listener who sent us this story, but I don't think the story is quite interesting enough to be BS. It's a yes from me. <laughs> yep, it is absolutely true. Woo! True because it was really boring. That's uh, now I'm only one point behind you, Tom. Right, and, and I'm stabby. This uh, this next one is worth a uh, thousand points. We forgot to mention that. Oh, it's yeah, a bonus round. Yeah, let's bring it. All right, here we go. I'll bring it to you right to your face. <laughs> So I'm for a year at college. My friends and I were all in the process of pledging three different fraternities. You want to hear it? It's that, it's that typical <laughs> I don't know. radio voice, I don't right? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Well, it's all to get a number and a picture Tra- with Travis and weather Girl together. The club one night. Before we go to the club, we drank a bottle of bottom shelf peach flavored vodka. Unfortunately, I drank too much and puked on the first table closest to the club door. I dragged myself to the bathroom and puked there as well. A security officer pulled me out of the bathroom and sat me on the curb for the duration of the night until my ride finished enjoying himself. What I didn't know is that it was the girls' bathroom, which I found out during the pledge meeting the next night when they told me that I'd won. Apparently, three hot girls all took a picture with me with my arm around the toilet and posted it on Facebook. Tom Jigglestock's asking, Tom Mary, what do you think it's a secret of BS? <clears throat> I have no idea. I have no clue. I couldn't. I couldn't actually make any kind of syntax or understanding out of anything you said just now because of what Cheeto wrote in the chat room. Cheeto, Cheeto busted out some incredible. And it's not songs. repeatable. No, it's not even referenceable. <laughs> it was so wildly inappropriate. It utterly broke both of the us. The word "wop" was in it. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> and I'm not kidding you. Like both of us are doing this. We're like, just like you know, okay, we're, we're both we're, we're, we're doing the, the listening brand, to drinking. the story, and then we both look over right as <laughs> Cheeto writes just saying it, and then like I freak out. I look over and I see that Tom's losing it as well. Oh my god! <clears throat> uh, secret. <laughs> I say it's BS. <laughs> 
This one's worth a thousand points. Yes. Mm -hmm. A thousand points in the Featherlight Mattress Secrets of BS Challenge. Stop <laughs> jiggle socks in the speak right now. Who's gonna win? Tom Mayer? <laughs> Brian Brushwood? Forty hundred. The winner of Secrets of BS. Tom Jiggle Socks. 14th annual Secrets of BS. <laughs> is. What time is it? How past the hour are we? Forty past the hour. <laughs> Traffic and weather on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just turn off Tom Jingle Stars? Tom Merritt! <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I can't wait. This show is replaced by B and the TW. <laughs> The chat room figured out what Cheeto says, and now they're just saying it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. <laughs> well, uh, this seems like a good enough time to bring you a word from our sponsor, <laughs> which is 1-800-LADYPEAK.squarespace.com. Head on over to o n e eight zero zero ladypeaksquarespacecom and you can... Uh, uh, can you can you bring up my uh, my my screen there, Jammer B? <clears throat> there it is. What a hundred lady peak. You can get paid to go to the ladies' <laughs> bathrooms. <laughs> I remember the eight hundred lady peak. Just go ahead on there right now. Give me a call. Tell John Jiggle Socks sent you. Forty eight past the hour. Tell Jiggle Socks. <laughs> hey, what's up with President Obama? What's he going to do? Get on a pony right away? I don't know. Tom Jiggle Stacks, 48 past the hour. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Tom Jiggle Stacks, that's a set of few phone calls. Caller number one. You're worse than Cheeto. <laughs> All right. Who's uh, the Cheeto? <laughs> Cheeto, you're made of orange goo. You're going to get on my fingers. Tom Jiggle Stacks, 51 past the hour. <laughs> Okay, so the question is, what, what do you want to, uh, first of all, congratulations. Tom I want to do the farm report now. I'm listening to Tom <laughs> are you, are you waiting? Okay, no, we, yeah. we still got to make your big announcement, right? Right, well, the big news. Yeah, I've got the yeah. big news to get to. Uh, do you want to <laughs> save that Do you want to save you want another pillow end? to stuff in? <laughs> are you regretting that yet? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Okay. I'm regretting not being sure he wasn't going to switch to the wine <laughs> before I took it out. Right, as you're giving birth to a couch cushion. <laughs> Uh, All right, we had, I we don't had, really blame Jabber B. We had four. I just wasn't careful. We had four different ball. bits on tap that we were ready to rock based on. What uh, a new boozy time fun fest? <laughs> Not boozy time fun fest. I think that show. That's the, oh my god! Hold on. Do we need to do? Pork there it belly? is, right there. <laughs> I like that one. That's actually pretty good. For those of you on the audio podcast, uh, there's a Photoshop now of Tom pulling the couch cushion out of his uh, belly and it has been replaced by a, a, a smiling Nyan cat. He's very excited. As me and Brian look on in delight. In delight, too. I mean, you guys really look pretty excited. Look at look at the bliss on your face, Tom. Oh, look at the endorphins. Hold on, let me see here. That, that's me. That's my horror. Uh, but look, look at how happy you are, sir. I want this to be its own meme by itself. Joyful. Why don't you just play a little Gregorian chant behind it? That'll be funny. <laughs> uh, I'm very oh! proud of that meme, by the way. I'm glad that that took off throughout the Twit Cottage. AC All right, says um, he's crying with laughter. Yes, what's up? Which which of our bits do you want to do now? What what, what are our choices? We already we are, look. Let's face it. We already did the very best secrets of BS we've ever done in the history of the show. From here on out, nothing but success awaits us. What's what's left on the menu for us to try? Uh, well, we can either do personal booze <sighs> confessions. Yeah. Or we can. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh oh, uh, guilty pleasure tribunal. Oh, uh, dude, I would much rather do confessions, booze confessions. Wait, there was the third one as well. That was Oh, treasure hunt, which is what we wanted to do at the very beginning. Okay, so here's the deal. Since we're already making yeah. embarrassing pictures of Tom, we got 12 what minutes. we wanted to do is have a little <laughs> contest where everybody in chat room went and looked throughout the entire internet and tried to find the most embarrassing or awkward photos of either me, 
Tom, or Brian. And uh, the winner gets a personal uh, phone call from Tom Jigglestocks. <laughs> and, uh, we all have a good time by the end of it. So just go ahead and find a really embarrassing picture. Scour the internet. The one thing that's off limits I'm done. is the is the Equus picture of Tom, which is yeah, that's not- just that's too easy. Well, no, no, no that's the base one. Whatever yeah, right. it is you find has to be better than the Equus right. picture, right? Uh, by the way, this segment of NSFW brought to our friends over at urinalseverywhere.squarespace.com. <clears throat> Head on over to urinalseverywhere.squarespace.com. Uh, Jammer BQ, show their website. Uh, they, uh, they, if, if you lit urinals as far as the eyes can see, <clears throat> urinalseverywhere.squarespace.com. Uh, all right. Well, what? So we want to do, uh, well, I need to- boost time silly fest. Uh, and then the big news at the very end? Yeah, no. We'll, well, yeah. we'll, we'll get to yeah, the Because we'll, we'll I've, it. It. I've got it up on the... I know. All I right. know. It's in the dock. It's in the, <laughs> it's in the dock. <laughs> it's in the dock. Wow. This nah. is a good entry right now the on the dock. treasure. I'll take a look at this. Oh, yeah. I like that. Is that Randy Jordan? <laughs> I don't know, but I look like I'm tweaking my nipple. And I'm I like the, pers- <laughs> the forced perspective of your shirt. It looks like I'm actually driving into your chest. <laughs> I look like the biggest frat boy douche in the All world. right, so for those of you yeah, maybe not the biggest listening uh, to this, it's Brian uh, with what looks like two chins, and it's like an end of the night. Everybody, <laughs> I love how you paint a word picture. Thank you for pointing out the two chins. That was very, <laughs> very kind of you. And he's 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 pointing. It's like he's about to point to his nipple, but his hands moving so fast because he's so excited about pointing to his nipple that it's blurring. And meanwhile, somebody is in the background with both their hands up, being like, "This is the best thing that's ever happened." <laughs> All right. Let me see what else we got. We got uh, 1-800-LADY-PEAK. <laughs> 1-800-LADY-PEAK. No, I hate Tom Jigglestock. Uh, Just seeing his name makes me angry. Uh, oh, yeah. That's Rob this? That's Rob Maris from Austin, Texas, a star of Subbrilliant Television. Oh, so that's not even you. That's they thought me. that was you. They thought it was me because of the beard, but that's not. it's from a TV show I worked on in Austin, though. Yeah, it's not working. Access Television, let me tell you. At its fine. Right, how does uh, silly time booze uh, giggles happen? <laughs> Don't say giggles. Um, it's jiggles. Jiggle stock. <laughs> By the oh, way, is he German? <clears throat> breaking news: uh, CTMZ has already picked up the story of your big announcement, and they're almost certain that it's. That's this not pregnancy. the big news. That's, that's that. That's old news. That's yeah. It is. Well, I'm not. I don't even look like that because this here. I had it. All right. See, this is not nearly. This is a flattering photo of the cast of Buzz oh, Out Loud. It. Yeah, this Aww, is. That's you lovely. guys look fantastic. I look a little douchey, but the others. You, you look a little pretentious. I'm not gonna you lie. You look a little bit like a villain of some kind. I don't. We're I'm outside sure. the Golden right, Club t- strip club. T- tell me this: am, am I imagining it, or <laughs> does Molly Wood look a little uncomfortable, like she's intentionally? There's a little more space between right? her and me she's than just like, between me and Jason. Like maybe you cut one. And she's just sort of backing. I was going to say, she looks my like left hand with a... is in motion, so she may be about to dodge a blow. A blow? Oh, like you're about to punch her right in the face? Yeah, right. I'm not going to give her coke. <laughs> I know there's a strip club in the background. Not <laughs> everything like, is a double entendre. This, but... All right, so right I... in the nose. Okay, Brian, how do you play the stupid bit? God damn it! I already set it up like 15 times, and you won't get your friggin' nose out of your laptop. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm busy doing your treasure hunt one that, that you like. I'm trying to help you. This is like no. This was a a thing that booze Jim confessional. Yeah. Okay. All right. Booze, confe- booze confessional. Here. Okay. Okay. Look. The, this, 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 is, this is a gift of the Magi moment where it's right. like I'm trying to make Justin's bit successful, so I'm busy Brian digging a picture. Brian sold the spikes on his head to make the treasure hunt work. <laughs> right, to and pay Jerry for your beard wax. obviously sold his beard <laughs> right. to make the booze confessionals work. Exactly. Uh, okay, here's the way. That I bo- sold my dignity to be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> here's the way booze confessionals work. <clears throat> We've all been drinking, which means you guys can ask us anything. Anything. Go. Right there in the chat room. Ooh, someone uh, almost, well, here's, someone here's almost figured out my secret in the chat room just now. <laughs> Did Make he really? It. Like, Tom says the worst things of all of them, but he says it calmly. Is that your secret? Uh, yeah. Make it extremely personal. Like oh, something you would enough. never think that we were going to ask and direct News. it to one of us. Like, don't just ask, hey, guys, did you ever murder somebody? Ask Tom Merritt, did you ever murder somebody? <laughs> all right, this is. Well, and, and shouldn't be a yes or no question like that. 
<laughs> well, yeah. Good, good interviewing tips. Yeah, no. You want to ask an open-ended question. Did you murder somebody? Yes. <laughs> well, yes. how did you murder It was that? for charity. Who did Just you calm murder? down. You know, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Like, uh, Techie44 says, Jury, how did you lose your virginity? And that actually is, a, there's a really funny story to that. <clears throat> oh, I know this story. This is the one when you were 23 years old and it was your mom's sorority sister is that what it was i'm almost certain you told me this that it was you were 23 yeah. years old and that your mom's sorority sister came over and was making jokes about it and then grabbed you inappropriately and you thought you were putting on a show for your mom but then you realized your mom wasn't even in the room and you just kept on going and then before you could decide to stop you had already is that is that am i remembering that story correctly uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Good. good. Tom? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let, what other question we got? Uh, when did Tom become old John Smokey? Well, I'm not. That, that's like a when did you stop beating your wife yeah. question. No, it's like, no, no. I'm yeah. not old John Smokey. So the answer is, well, your question doesn't mean anything. Uh, Ace to Tech, what's the stupidest thing you've ever done on the air? Oh, Justin. I definitely... No, Justin knows this. Justin oh was God, telling me no, this the Without other day. a doubt. There was the one time, and this is like way back uh, decades, right, where you were on uh, public access. Oh, on Before access. you yeah, got TV, into, right. into like radio or whatever. And uh, you were doing a thing on a 4-H festival. And for some reason, it was like a weird, different kind of event where instead of like milking cows, it was like uh, an, an insemination thing. So you just had these like, these like tubes filled with. But seed. I thought it was a milking cows. That's the thing. Well, yeah. I mean, you don't know, right? Because it's just you see a bunch of tubes with with the white stuff, and part of that, it's like uh, like like the Brickyard, five hundred, like the race where they drink the the pint of milk at the end. So you thought it'd be a really funny bit at the end where it's like, hey, uh, let's have the winner drink their pint their 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 pint of milk. And so there was this eight-year-old girl who had won that particular contest, and you just hand her the pint. And uh, it got really awkward, and the mom stepped in, and, like, this was all lying. Oh, yeah, she never drank it, thank goodness. No, no, sorry, sorry, what, no. What, what, was, but, what was this? What was the question? But you were insisting. This? You were like, no, drink it. Drink it. <laughs> what drink are you doing? milk, girl. You're ruining it. You're ruining my career. <laughs> this what's the most embarrassing thing you've done on the air? Uh-huh. Oh me? No, that was the question to me. Oh, uh, oh yes, yes. Oh, and that was that was the answer. Yeah, no. Uh, is that how it went? Uh, pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're realizing the double bind <laughs> of how the bit works. <laughs> we uh, we need something about a question for you. Yeah, hey, um, <laughs> uh, uh, Brian. It says, uh, "Scam School Bright, would you rather kiss Justin or Tom?" <laughs> That's, uh -huh. that's not a that's not a good question. <laughs> Obviously, okay, like, here we go. Both of us. Oh. <laughs> uh, Scans go, Brian. What is the most interesting moment uh, of uh, that you and Jerry have been live on the air, but uh, you were too drunk to remember? Well, I actually know this one. This is a good story. <laughs> you don't remember it though. Not, well, I mean, I've heard the stories. You've after heard the, the story. fact, yeah. No, because it was written in Braille. This was actually. Uh, because Tom watches all of the time that me and you have been on the air. No, it was pre NSFW shows, BB Live show. Yes, I've yeah. seen this. I've seen this on the uh, the web. In fact, if you search around, I'm sure you can find it. Uh, and you guys were drinking pretty heavily. Justin was playing the, uh, the what is it? The the kill Mary. Boink. Oh, f word game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a game with with Brian. And so he he goes and he he says uh, he says. You know, first he he, he starts to is the obvious ones, famous people, and then he goes to Bonnie, and you know there's a little awkward silence. But but Brian, thankfully, pulls his wits together and says Mary because he, it's already, he already did it, so that's an easy way out. And then he starts to t the jury starts to ask him about his children, <laughs> and, and he ain't. I don't even want to. I don't even want to talk about it. But he was starting to answer, and then Bonnie like came in and stopped him. Thankfully, before he said anything, but that was, that was really... That's that pretty was, much how it went, right? Yeah, that, was, that was pretty close. <laughs> that was uh, pretty much how it went. 
<laughs> I'm highly regretting this bit now. <laughs> what other questions do you have? Well, I think you were probably going to protest that the question shouldn't have been asked, but, you know, thankfully. Uh, look, all's fair in Boo's Confessions. <laughs> uh, it's not like you jacked off a goat on live television. <laughs> The seven past the hour, top chicken socks. <laughs> Things have got a little loose. This is gonna remind you, everybody. Do you want to get paid to walk into ladies' restrooms? What a hundred lady pink has the bridge job for you. Make sure you get to see only seats, no urinals. And with your new job making commission, walking into ladies' restrooms. What a hundred lady pink. I recommend it because I use it. <laughs> I'm a lady peek of myself. Tell them Tom Jingle Socks since you're here. What are your lady peek? 58 past the hour. Tom Jingle Socks in the evening. All right. We have uh, another entry on the on the treasure hunt. <clears throat> oh you okay there? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you. What the hell am I looking at? Oh, my God. This is a picture that is on a bar, it, on the wall of a bar in Davie, Florida, called the Falcon Pub. And... It's my friend Derek, who uh, they were walking around with a digital camera, and they're like, oh, so he decides to kiss me, and I make that face, but that is really me. That's like, uh, that's like <laughs> Satan, uh, yeah, I don't even want to say, it. you look like you have fangs in it, too. Go back to it. Look at that. He's got, like, sincere devil fangs. On I do kind of have, I have some pretty mean incisors. You do pretty have big incisors. Mean. That's crazy. That's what the lady said. It's by cuspids. He's sitting there. I mean, by cuspids. <laughs> Man, people really don't like Tom Jigglestock. Which is, I, was like, <laughs> I yeah, I don't know what it did to me. It got me angry. It certainly did. It brought out the Irish in you. <laughs> hey, now that's racist. <laughs> what? I didn't say that's what drove you to drink. Oh, that would be racist. <laughs> that was not bad. See, these are all pretty good pictures. Yep, there's me flashing my butt at someone. Well, but you do that. I mean, that's... Oh, you, good God. That's Sarah Lane talking to Sarah Lane. Well, she's it, dressed up like... Oh, okay. Dressed up as the actress playing Sarah, Sarah yeah. Lane. Where yeah. was that? It was WonderCon. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> we may have a winner. Somebody found secret archives of uh, that is no me, over a decade ago scratching the butt of a, of a pug uh at least it's not a goat <laughs> <laughs> wow national television people are shouting f a dog uh oh yeah look at my phone look at, this will give you an idea of how long ago it was look at the phone clipped to my belt on the outside because it's too big to oh, put on wow. the inside. Yeah, this is this is that like does date it. And look at and those acid wash jeans. Yeah, look and look those. at that really stupid face <laughs> and his really ridiculous <laughs> nose and mouth. Well, that's you know, everybody gets that face. How do <laughs> the when they're scratching them? But his is just particularly is a pug dumb. or a bulldog. <laughs> it's it's a bulldog. It's a, it's yeah, a little, okay. it's a little bit. Oh my god, these are really good. And then people are pointing out that it's some kind of like corduroy vel crushed velvet shirt. Yeah, that's true. I'll oh, cop to all of this. Yeah. Man. That's a 90s phone, though. I, I think sure. I may have won the game in that single single shot. Wow. We'll see. Maybe if something uh, comes up a little later. Right. Uh, but I think this is the leader in the clubhouse for sure. Oh, my God. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> here's sad Tom. <laughs> oh, wait. Sa uh, wistful Tom. <laughs> sad, wistful Tom. Yeah, nah. So I'm gonna show you this so, how-to tip. So I'm at CNET. <laughs> if only, hey if only there's some independent broadcaster that would steal me away. Yeah. yeah. Go. Why is he Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> he's cause clearly Canadian. Look at obviously him. Obviously, I'm Canadian. Because oh, take off, I say. <laughs> right? Because it's hey, like it's all blues, apples eh? all the time over here. Yeah. Eh? Back and I'm like, in <laughs> snow. So 486. I said, <laughs> I like skiing. <laughs> Mounties are good. Yeah. You, we have socialized medicine, eh? Noonies. <laughs> what is this? Tim Hortons coffee, eh? 
<laughs> okay, people are cheating and they're making photoshops again. Yeah, see the photoshop, well, or that may actually be a pre-existing photoshop. <clears throat> Because uh, there was a Photoshop contest on Buzz Out Loud for a, for a long time. Oh, my God. That looks familiar. <clears throat> All right. Do I'm we sure that was a fun show to do. Buzz we're out time. Loud. We're at 8.03. <laughs> is, it, is it three past the hour? Yeah. It's three past, three the, past the hour. Tom, what time is it? Well, uh, Poor no, Futures. I, th- I said Tom. Tom Jiggle Socks is 8.03 right now. Tom Jiggle Socks is needing a drop of Rob Bush with a Tom Barrett. <laughs> <coughs> All, All 2012 right. contracts closed limit down yesterday. 2013 <laughs> contracts were closed a little worse than $2 a hundred weight, which limits $3 a hundred weight. actually looked up They've rebounded futures. a bit today. I think I wouldn't call it an overreaction. <laughs> Anytime you see a headland like BSE, that does create some concern, especially where markets are at today. But they have come out. It appears the trade implications <laughs> might not be as disastrous <laughs> as previous BSE cases. <laughs> that's, 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 that's good, um, Tom Merritt. Thank you, Tom Merritt. Court stock futures update here on the Tom Jiggle Stocks in the Evening episode. Drive on three past the hour beef, right beef, now. Beef, beef, Let's beef, go, beef. Kansas. Wait, wait. Wheel in the sky. <laughs> t- t- take a look at this one right here. This is like punk rock Tom. Oh, that's in Austin. That's yeah. actually in East Austin. This looks like, uh, what, 12, 13 years ago? Uh, that would have been 1997 or 98 at Kirsten's White Trash Party Halloween. Oh, my God. Is this you? Uh, that would be my uh, University of Illinois ID card. <laughs> so that's, yes, that's yep. you. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I gotta Is find. it better or worse than Brian trying to finger that dog? <laughs> I am scratching a dog's uh, I, butt. You know, I don't think it's cool to oh say stuff God, like that. Look. <laughs> no, there is. <laughs> <laughs> got you giving birth to me. <laughs> you know, Nyan Cat coming out of any orifice is pretty cool. <laughs> Can we start that meme of just Nyan Cat coming out of things? Imagine how whimsical Goatsy would become. <laughs> it's a very good point. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um... Uh, do we have time for another round of um, of, of booze confessions? Or, 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 <laughs> Isn't that what we're doing? No, no, we we just kind of real time. We just did, well, yeah, that is, uh, <laughs> this whole this whole treasure hunt thing. Continue the treasure hunt, but there was one more bit we had. Justin, was, uh, did you bo- have it? Booze confessionals. Yep, booze confessionals. There was secrets, secrets or BS. BS. Secrets or BS. I Treasures. gave my big news, which Treasure was the beef futures. Oh my god, <laughs> that was huge. <laughs> that was huge. Well, with BSE, you figure. The cow market's going to take a much bigger hit than that. So uh, it you looks know what? like it's going to weather it pretty well. M84 is asking Ace Detect, what's the worst thing you've ever done to get in the doghouse with Eileen? Hmm. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, there's only one go-to story for that, right? I've never been in the doghouse with Eileen. <laughs> uh, well, there is that one story, right, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Here's a chance. Do you want to tell it? I want to. I don't see how that's physically possible. Tom giving birth to Equus Tom. <laughs> yeah, that looks like it hurts. This is Tomception right here. Oh my god! <laughs> What's weird is the Equus Tom is also pregnant. Look at it close. Yes. <laughs> Where did Equus Tom come from? Um, when I was still at CNET, for some reason. Some guy, we, we did Photoshop contests on BOL, but some guy made a, like, funny post about how I was, like, on stage at doing Equus in London. I don't know. And, and, then, and, then, and then the head of CNET, Joe Gillespie at the time, made reference to it in an all-associates meeting. Oh, well, so what's like, wrong with that? Tom, is that a picture of you look pretty good? I hadn't seen it yet. I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Well, I mean, it's like, uh, I guess you've got Equus, but for me, it's Unicorn Brian, right? You've seen the Unicorn Brian photo? Mm-hmm, yep. So it's like... That's, that's not that bad, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, Sure, I don't says know. you. Um, is it? Yeah. Hold on. We got, oh, wait, unconfirmedsources.com. Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I guess it's hosted at unconfirmedsources.com is the Tom Maris original Equus poster. Oh, that, yeah, okay. And all that is is that's, uh, um, that's Daniel, Daniel Radcliffe. That's Danny Radcliffe. He just Danny took, Rad. My head went on very nicely. I have what, to say. what? What is? Does is he like into the the 
the Lady Beasts in Equus? What is that about? I don't know what the Equus play. I know is. that it's, it's about a horse, right? Right, but but he gets naked in it. That's the big. Yeah. Well, he, he does. He rolls the dice in front of the horse at some point. <laughs> wait, wait, be like in your face. Kind of like the goat. You're like no, call the opposable like, flow oh, no, 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 in your no, face. He doesn't roll the horse's dice. I know. He's not like, hey, horse, let me no, show I know, you. But it's like, it's like, what is he going to show it off humor. to the horse? No, he wants to show him who's boss. So he's like, look at me. I'm a man. I'm... <laughs> okay. Have you seen this? I've heard. Of, I've I've heard. Like I've read a description of the play when, oh, okay. when the when the Radcliffe thing. And that's happened. exactly what it says. It says Equus, a story in which <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe rolls the dice to show a horse who's boss. <laughs> I think he may or may not also stab the horses with with a shattered mirror or something like that. Somebody, we need some original reports. So I guess he probably show. fails at it. He fails to show the horse who's boss. And the horse is like, I don't think that's too impressive, Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> and he's like, I'll show you a horse. Yeah, right in the eye. <laughs> that's not cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, yeah. it's that's art. disrespectful I'm, to the horse. <laughs> why don't you stop putting down art? <laughs> um. <laughs> What was the fourth bit? I can't remember it. Well, there was uh, Treasure Hunt. <laughs> yes. And yeah. then there was Booze Confessions. Yep, yep. And yep. then there was... Tom Jiggle Stocks. <laughs> well, that was B Secrets or BS. Secrets or BS. <laughs> we had a fourth bit. We had four bits going into this. Yeah, because we had 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> That is that may be the single most Tom Merritt moment I've ever experienced with you. In the middle, in the middle of a giggle fest that you can bust out <clears throat> a reference to how much um, <laughs> demolition man. Was it the idea. new morning show? <laughs> no, it's not. No, it was one of the bits. <laughs> one of the... It was Blanky and the Whip. <laughs> Close. It was the kids' show that we're going to do called Blanky and the Whip, where right. it's going to have a fun, warm, uh, and a, you know, talking blanket, right? And then right. a whip, which is used <laughs> to move stagecoaches. <laughs> he's just really smart. Everybody thinks he's called a yeah, whip because yeah. he looks like a whip to move stagecoaches, but he's really, he's just really smart, smart as a whip. I don't know, whip. It's me, Blanky. <laughs> Uh, I'm serious, man. How much money do I have to give you to do your impression of old John Smokey? Because you look a lot alike. Don't get that. I don't understand. Oh, my God. Look I have photo. a beard. He's got a beard. Hold on. You guys are the same. That's definitely, that's that's definitely not, me. That's definitely me. Oh, that's you. That's definitely me. Oh, my God. Who is that? Who is that one? with his hand very poorly <laughs> placed on your shoulder as if he was proper? <laughs> That is uh, that is Doctor. Uh, actually, I probably shouldn't even say it. It's a buddy and I named Jim, who's now a PhD. Doctor, uh, Doctor Feel Good. It's more like it. Feel Shoulder. It's Doctor. It's Friday, Doctor Feel Shoulder. <laughs> doctor, whatever you do, don't in, don't inspect the <laughs> reaction that's happening in my lab right now. <laughs> ah, this is amazing that people are able to find this. This is incredible. <laughs> Uh, remind me to never ever send Chat Realm on a quest to find us embarrassing photos of ourselves. Well, so far they've only found the one embarrassing photo I already know about. Well, they've found a crap ton of embarrassing crap for me, which just tells me I was hanging it out there longer than. And that did. that white oh, trash God. that white trash party photo is from my Tech TV ZDTV profile page. Where is this photo from? Uh, that's from <laughs> earlier this evening <laughs> when I had a little too much in the end cap. And I had a wet Nyan Cat burp. <laughs> you know, sometimes <laughs> you have a little too much Nyan Cat, all I'll Nyan Cat what, comes man. out. <laughs> it's, uncomfortable, it's an uncomfortable truth. <laughs> this is not bad. <laughs> this is good in that it has all of us there. Man, what a magical evening uh, that... Uh, that Dragon Con was. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I hope that we do Dragon Con again. None of us look good in that picture. I don't know. Veronica, I think Veronica, Veronica does. Yeah, she, she just has her eyes closed. It's not that. That's not horrible. She's blinked at an unfortunate yeah. time. But everybody else just looks awful. The mics look fantastic, though. The mics look good. Actually, the whipped cream looks pretty awful. I don't want to ever. Get <laughs> I remember it. being very upset about that one moment in history. You really were, and I couldn't understand why. Oh wow, here's me with the giant. It's the same thing about me and Tom Jigglestock. It's just not explainable. Some people probably have... because I barfed chocolate 
things all over my new clothes. <laughs> oh right, yeah, that was that was not. That might be why. Were they, were they new? Like, did you buy new clothes just so you could look like Doctor Who? Yeah, I did. And uh, then I barfed all over it because somebody decided they wanted to continue to pour uh, alcoholic whipped cream down my throat until I choked. Ah, uh, listen, chat room thanks you. They're going to show <laughs> it by finding a very awkward photo of you from a long time ago. Man, I, if we can't remember the fourth bit, I guess we got, we're going to have to wrap this up. We're already... I don't know if we had a fourth bit. We, I, we, we definitely had four. Had... We definitely had four, and I can't remember what they oh were. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, what? was it the Avengers review? When, oh. Maybe it was. What is this? That's me in a Bigfoot costume uh, in a cage because we were shooting a sizzle reel, I believe, for a concept for a possible television show. And it, and it involved me getting in a Bigfoot costume and being in a cage. Is that a costume? Is it a costume? No, it's what it looks like when I take my shirt off. <laughs> Are you Bigfoot? Yeah, he's Tom Jigglestocks. <laughs> Damn! This other, I, hey, this what's is, your language? This is the worst idea <laughs> ever of having chat realm go and find pictures. Look at look at this stuff. They're they're, they're having me showing off my tan lines. Well, you did that though. I mean, I, well, I mean, I did do that, but it's like I I would really prefer to imagine that all this stuff doesn't live on, but it does in the internet. This is a, look. <laughs> this is our life. This Pencil is guy. This is in. The, that's me wearing giant over. That's not that underwear. bad. Yeah, look at that package though. That's looking good. Yeah, you yeah. got a Nyan cat in there. Don't I got you? a Nyan cat ready to bust out. <laughs> and then, sad. This is. That's this, called a husband's bulge. This is our life. <laughs> <laughs> like this is me as a as a as a balloon puppet with a Mr. Happy <laughs> Happy Pants. I have nice mom <laughs> jeans, someone said. I mean, there's no... Can we agree that the internet... There's no explanation. ...is a delightful place to keep all of us humble forever from now on? Oh, yeah. No. Wait, is that... Is... Who is this? Hold on. Show... Uh, is that you, Tommy? No. No. Never played guitar. Is that Raygun01? Oh, it might be. Oh, <laughs> I just heard from That's not fair. Shoulder. He's not here. I just I just heard like Jeremy legitimately go like oh I think that god. might be Jason. Oh my god, that's amazing. Man, I'll tell you what, it'd be really crazy if that became a trending topic. <laughs> <laughs> That'll never happen again. Oh my god, that is brutal. Okay, hold on. We do have this gem here. This is not bad. This is how we'll all meet. That's awesome. Remember. <laughs> That's I just... forget who that was uh, the that monitor was... fire CEO. <laughs> <laughs> this one tells the whole story. Always Elder Break 89, always. All right. Man, I should really stop. We could do we could do hours and hours. Of That's shit. just screenshots from CNET videos. That's not just anything you did. Apparently, what they're trying to tell you is that your entire tenure at CNET boiled down. Everything to... I've ever done is embarrassing. Let's just let's yeah. start right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bubba, yeah, you did miss the news, uh, but as long as you're not worried about mad cow disease, you have nothing to worry about. You want to do it again, Tom? Oh, you, sure. the news. you want to do the big news again just you in case I, missed For it. anybody who missed it? We were just coming in. Tom Jiggle Sacks. We're here with Tom Mayer. It's big news. 15 bucks a year. Tom Jiggle Sacks is going live to Tom Mayer. With the BSE scare, all 2012 contracts closed limit down yesterday. 2013 contracts were closed a little worse than $2 a hundred weight, which limits $3 a hundred weight. Uh, they've rebounded a bit today, and I wouldn't call it an overreaction yesterday. Anytime you see a headline like BSE, that does create some concern, especially where our markets are at today. But they have come up. It appears that the trade implications might not be as disastrous as previous BSE cases. The thing to keep in mind is that we're very reliant on our exports in today's cattle industry versus when the most recent case in 2006 for U.S. cattle. At that point in time, exports were roughly 60% less than what they are today. <laughs> Blanky and the whip, man. They're cracking it. They're cracking it every, every Saturday morning. I guess that's it for this episode of NSFW. Apologize to everyone of you who doesn't have 
eyes to watch the video <laughs> version <laughs> because it was probably substantially weird to hear people just giggling at photoshops and old photos uh look at that <laughs> yeah look at that that's amazing whoa no yeah, that's crazy how what's about, going on everybody how about that uh but I'll tell you what, man. Tom Merritt, you got any projects you want to you want to promote for any of us? Not that I want to admit. No, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> uh, well, FSL tonight will be coming back for season two in June. So uh, if you didn't experience season one yet, go check it out. FSLtonight.com. Uh, and we're actually gonna I. we're gonna put out a reading list, a, a mandatory right. course reading list soon. So you'll be able to watch all of the crap that we're going to reference for the next couple weeks. And also, preliminarily, I'm just going to say this. I'm moving to San Francisco. Tom lives in the Bay Area. We've There's been preliminary discussions about live FSL. Yeah. Uh, live, and when you say live, you don't mean live stream. You mean live in a pub in somewhere. Person, in studio. Live in the Bay Area. So yeah. we're going to find some comic store or, or bookstore or something and just really Street keep corner. the hell up. Yeah. Some place where you would it. squat and give birth to a Nian cat. Or yeah. a necklace of Tom. Don't bring any goats. <laughs> <laughs> <That's all I laughs> Otherwise, Brian's going to argue. Bad memories. <laughs> uh, also, uh, subscribe to Sword and Laser at uh, youtube.com slash geek and sundry. Yeah, we can now verify every person who subscribes to Sword and Laser gets a billion dollars free. Uh, congratulations. Or goes to heaven. <laughs> all right. Hey. Yep. We got a movie draft minute. Here. Yes. Pause, pause that music. Pause that music, son. Go. Welcome to your movie draft minute for the week of April 30th, 2012. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. And so ends the era of ties. Here comes week six. Sarah Lane's in sixth place, awaiting for her first film to be released. Tom Merritt's in fifth place with The Raven bringing in $7.2 million. Seven point two. Ryan Brushwood remains in fourth place with $13.3 million. Yeah. Veronica Belmont's in third place with Kevin Woods bringing in $4.5 million, bringing her total to $34.6 million. Justin Robert Young remains in second place Woo! with $80.5 million. And still in first place with The Hunger Games bringing in $11.2 million, bringing his total to $409.5 million. Jeez. It's Scott. He's already Jones. got 400. And so ends week six. Me? And that is your movie draft minute for the week of April 30th, 2012. <laughs> <laughs> People in the chat room are shouting for Predator Fever. Catch it. No, I think Beef is saying, quote the Raven. Hey, stop off that goat. <laughs> I don't think you can say that, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, come on, That's man. Not okay. Show some professional broadcast standards for yeah, crying out loud. Seriously. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Um, I think the Avengers is going to put me ahead of Scott Johnson this week. Oh, dude. Wait, this this week? This week. No way. It's going to open at $500 million, million dollars in no one way. week? Actually, no, you're right. I won't catch him this week, but within within two weeks, I'll be in front. Yeah, man. Uh, by the way, uh, I ran the numbers, Justin, and as much as you love to mock me, it's looking like <laughs> a, as long as the four movies I have in May total $400 million, of which MIB3 is alone projected to make over $200 million on its own, as long as I do, I'm still in this thing. Because I spent, I spent $68. That's right, Brian. You're still in this <laughs> right, thing. Shut up. Man. Hey, you're a real you solid fellow. Why you go fellow? fight a goat? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually oh, about to oh. say that oh. like, my favorite part about the jet room is that they are also uh, really mean. And then Brian did something really mean, and I thought that was really funny, and I realized that's why Chat Realm gets away with it. You get the audience you deserve. Absolutely. Your audience is a reflection of your show, always. No, yeah. I love it, because I'm no mean drugs, about things. Man. I think, I think very just, mean things are very no, it's funny. it's not okay. It's not cool. Uh, come on, buddy. You got, you got some cash on you? No, You're going to want these. No, these are good. I don't do that no, anymore. These I stick to Lagunitas. Come on. Come on. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, I do that. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, use it. Now I don't want to touch it. That is, is freaking awesome. And now, where did these come from? These came from some fans who are doing geocaching stuff. And by the way, Tony, edit all of this in. Uh, they, they do geocaching stuff, and they want to have NSFW coins. Let's see if those we can are get, so we, amazing. How, do we have a camera that we can bring over here and get super up close on these? Uh, all right. Take a, they're, they're slightly smaller hits, than a yeah, quarter. Yeah, there's no light over there. What do you say, Alex? You got a way to 
Oh, wait, there we go. Here. Yes. Can you take it out of the package, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, I think that'll help. <laughs> uh, that's, that doesn't look so impressive right there, does it? Look at that colored blob. Look at that blob. That's, this really does look like a QVC commercial <laughs> right now. Normally five thousand dollars. You're gonna get these right now if you call. Oh, you're for gonna love these. Nine 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 nine. Beautiful metal of some variety. Yeah, these you are hand tooled. I'm sorry, my producer just told me we are authorized to drop these down from five thousand dollars. You've actually watched this. Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine for this beautiful NSFW commemorative coin. Or I'll tell old you what, John you can't, Smokey. You can't J.O. a goat on live TV for that kind of money. <laughs> you can't J.O. a goat for that. Uh, here, get over, get over right here. Also, if you call now. You can also get commemorative old John Smokey. Look at the spoons. Look at the spoons on that. You can see the the spoons. It's It's the actual spoons were used as a model for that. The fedora. You can tell that's genuine faux train tracks all the way around the side. Just like old John Smokey rides. Just go to 1-800-LADY-PEAK and one of our fine... People will get you an old. It's John a, it's going to be embarrassing if your friends have these and you don't. You know, uh, my granddaughter was going to school and they're going nuts for these. People are saying that they're wearing. They're them. the modern day pogs. They're 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 saying that uh, they're even better than the pogs because pogs. Pogs wear out. Pogs bend. Pogs, pogs burn. Were made of cardboard. Pogs can be pissed on and decomposed. They know, you, you know, you look back. <laughs> On the ages, there was the Bronze Age, there was the Iron Age. There was the Pog Age. We're in the Information Age. There was never a cardboard age. Do you know why? Because cardboard degrades. And That's right. Will live the Romans forever. had cardboard. Where are they now? When you see these coins, you are going to literally drop a load in your pants. <laughs> I'm not you sure will, that that entices <laughs> you will, them to order them. You will defecate in the streets. And I think this took a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> they are utterly delightful. If you're bound up, order these coins. <laughs> the FDA has not evaluated these claims, but I can tell you, my cousin got one of these. He dropped a load right there. <laughs> and he definitely <laughs> dropped a load. <laughs> <laughs> that coin's caught in the phantom zone. <laughs> that coin was a criminal, <laughs> sentenced for all eternity. <laughs> Those are pretty dope. Does you anyone know, say dope? Tom Jigglesworth has a full collection of these coins. <laughs> Tom oh. Jigglesworth has a full collection of the totally dope NSFW coins. Justin's board. 278 in the AM. Someone what? turned Justin off. Hey, what? let me ask you something. Blam, blam, blam. What the jury? Blam, blam. Hey, so, uh, you know, the, uh, the NSFW, or I'm sorry, the, the weirdthings.com audience. Like, are these spendable? <laughs> they're expendable. <laughs> they used to be spendable, but they're not spendable anymore. Uh, <clears throat> so here's something that's interesting. Please is... log this tag at. Yeah, the geocaching stuff on the back. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they're all individually stamped, and that you can you can leave them all over the United Mine is States. two one two three. Oh, well, I shouldn't give you the number. Yeah, then the, you oh, could... actually go ahead and give it, and then they'll <laughs> falsely move it all over America. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. No, let's have the fastest. Let's scam the fastest moving tag ever. Give your tag, and then everybody go log it. No. Say, get... gentlemen. Yes, sir. Uh, we're getting Chinese food. Are you either of you interested? That's racist. Justin, would you like us to mail order these? Yeah, give food? me a favor. Get to me some egg drop soup and just leave it in the fridge. <laughs> I'll be there in a few you minutes. You got it. <clears throat> I'll take that as a no. No, I'm fine. We ate right Yeah, before. yeah, we had Mexican food. We, we had a different racial stereotype. Thank food. you, Alex. Uh, Thank you, though. So, so here's what I wanted to say. Yeah, yeah. Weird things. We, we have not been good about doing regular Weird Things episodes. Mm-hmm. And then, like, at some point, I guess one of us, like, dusted off, like, we found in the corner the ledger of how many people were, were listening to Weird Things. And we're like, holy cow, a lot of people listen to Weird Things. So we dusted it off, and now we're, we're making sure to do it every single Monday night. We broadcast it live, 
And in fact, even when, I mean, hold on. Other way. I actually had an idea. Look at that. Tom, I'll, I wanted to run by you. All right. So, because you guys, you and Veronica Belmont record the Sword and Laser audio yes, on Monday, we right? Do. Yes. Do you want to do, right. do an indie, an independent indie rock block? God damn it, Brian! I'm like pitching an idea here, I just and you just immediately awesome run idea. right I over just, it. I just had this awesome idea that popped into my mind that I totally thought of myself. So here we do. We do like whole big thing we do me brian and andrew on sword and laser and you guys on weird things how's that for an idea that i just had oh like wait oh you're doing no, like i heard crossover. this idea from brian already <laughs> uh sure yeah i'm into it if, if you can if, if veronica's into it i'm into it i can't make decisions without her. veronica doesn't like sure. us yeah. well She's now really we've publicly brian. mentioned it so I, she'll I have to will on public with the sure. real reason i kept farting on stage. <laughs> In fact, you can go back and you can find several moments where she's reacting but trying her best to be pro. She's yeah. Not. Well, the weird part is she's the one who loved Taco Bell so much, and yet I was the one. It's a transference. <laughs> who ruined the show? It's magic. Oh, I just say it's Lady been great working with you guys. <laughs> it was a good run. It was, it was, we really yeah. had a good time. I'm, you know. Well, Sorry that you won't be able to rent my apartment because I'll have to move into it. Yeah, it's a it's a great time. We knocked them on their asses, didn't we? Yeah. Now I'm gonna tell you about the rabbits. Can you see them, Justin? Can you see them? <laughs> this episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by One Eight Hundred Lady Peak, bringing you a new opportunity to check inside of women's bathrooms, even if you're a man. Call 1-800-LADYPEAK.COM and use offer code NSFW. Hey, who's in there? <laughs> Wait, yeah, is this a young Aya Let's, let's do the other one. <laughs> oh, we showed that on TNT. The other, oh, no, that's his growing up geek. Yeah, yeah, those are all young. Those now. are adorable. Yeah. See, he looks awesome. There are four bits. <laughs> so do you want, hey, Justin, did you watch Cabin in the Woods? I did. Yeah. He did. You have anything was... that you wanted to say about it that we didn't say on frame rate? I saw it. Yeah. I didn't well, I didn't watch frame rate. What'd you guys say? We said, said it was it all sucked. right. <laughs> An oldie a jerk ass would love it. <laughs> uh no, I really liked it. I think um wow. the more I think about it, the more I think that if you don't like the idea of horror movies, the less you're gonna really like it. I will uh, say, in, in response to our conversation in the restaurant while you were here, yeah, going into it blind, like entirely blind, I think would be better. Yeah, like he begrudged the little bit that you said. Like and, and, the, the and fact not, that not you, really. Not and he just, called you out specifically on frame rate. It's the rate. first scene. <laughs> he, he said that from the first scene it was ruined because of what you said. That's not even an exaggeration. <laughs> it's a slight exaggeration. That is, that is I a I definitely rephrasing. attributed... You saying that it, that the first scene is a spoiler, and I also said you said that the first scene. No, that was sets Brett's point. Brett's that, point was that the first yeah. scene is a spoiler. What you said that uh, <laughs> allegedly? No, you, you said <laughs> you said like the first scene sets up the whole second plot, which is like like he wished he hadn't heard that going into it. I wish I hadn't known that going into it. Right, it's not like you said that quote. But there was, yeah. there was, you know, the first scene, you know, is basically a spoiler. It's something that either you or Brett had said. And and there were things on Twitter. It sounds people. like something stupid, I would say. Well, and there were things on Twitter that people said, too, uh, about like, oh, the and, you know, like, oh, there's this. Somebody said that to me on Twitter. So but see, there, even knowing that crap. There was all this stuff where it's like, OK, I didn't feel spoiled going into it. But after I was done, I was like, I liked it. But I didn't love it. And I think I might have loved it if I'd gone in. Well, and I, don't so. and what, no? I don't think so. No? I don't think so. What, what, I, <clears throat> what I said, Justin, was that <clears throat> I really, really liked the movie, but I loved the fact that the movie existed. Like, I loved the idea of the movie even more than I now loved the Now people are mad at me for explaining that because it spoiled them who haven't seen the movie yet. And to you, I say, it's been out for three weeks. Yeah, in your face. We played the rules <laughs> I mean, of spoilers. I guess, well, and what are you doing up this late anyway? Point, Shouldn't you be studying? Yeah. My, my, my point about 
the talking about the first f wording scene of the goddamn movie. Uh, <laughs> is that it's the first f wording scene of the GD movie, and like by definition, it is the least possible spoiler that you could have in the film. Like anything you've seen in the trailer is more of a spoiler. Yeah, no, I agree with what, that. Than what than what the first scene of the movie is. That being said, uh, I think if you haven't seen it and there's something stopping you from seeing it, revealing what is not shown in the trailer, what is deliberately hidden in the trailer, I think to the detriment of the film, of people being interested in going to see the film, it, revealing that little bit, just what happens in the first scene is enough that would entice people to go see it. All that being said, I think the film's very cool. I enjoyed it. I very much enjoyed the dialogue. I very much enjoyed like all the horror movie uh, kind of shout outs and everything. I enjoy the fact that people are making a think piece about horror movies in this kind of way. But in terms of the point they're making, I kind of disagree with it. And I think it's an incredibly arrogant movie to make. That is not the question. The Augen erzählen der Welt, dass sie verliebt sind. Bei vollem Verstand. Coffee, tea or coffee. Trink mich. Mini. Super.